Hello everyone and welcome back to this next lecture. So in the previous lecture we had installed Code Composer Studio. In this lecture we are going to install the C2000 Ware application. So for this again I am going to go to my Google Chrome and I am going to go to Texas Instruments. And here once again the usual search F28069. And this takes us back to the same one, which is the home page of this microcontroller. And as usual, go all the way down. And by default, we are in hardware development. Let's go to software development. And as you can see here, the very first one is C2000 Ware. So this is a cohesive set of software and documentation decrease created to minimize development time. Right? It includes device specific drivers, libraries and peripheral examples. Right. So, here however, you can't directly down, download as you did for Code Composer Studio. For example, if you click on this, you are actually expected to register. So, this is not openly downloadable the way Code Composer Studio was. If you go to the registration page, you can fill this and start. Right. So, it just needs an email, a password, your region and a postal code right now in my case I do not use any work email I use my Gmail and it's okay so my suggestion is I've already registered go ahead and register and I will see you soon so I'm back at the F28069 homepage and here as you can see I have logged in right so I hope you have registered and I hope you have after that logged in you will after registration receive probably an email saying to activate your account so please do that as well so now we go back and again go to software development and click on download options so now if you go to windows installer of course i'm using your i'm assuming you're using windows i do not have a mac and i do not have a linux so I, well i do have linux but for this course i'm using windows and this time you will come to this form Right. So this software is apparently a restricted software. Right. So this is not directly downloadable. You must come down. You must say what you're doing it for. So for example, in my case, this is what I usually do. The, the, I don't have a company because I'm teaching on my own and where I am. So country where this file is used and you have to choose it's for civil purposes. Right. Now, there is a particular list of requirements that you have to meet. Right? So that is you must say that you are complying with certain restrictions that you are not going to you are using it for peaceful purposes and please do read this restriction. For example, there is also a location restriction that you are not located in Cuba or Iran or North Korea or Sudan or Syria. Now, if you are watching this video from one of these places, I do not know how you are going to get this. Uh, I have no answer for that. So that really is something you have to Google. But other than that, if all this is true, you can just go click on the submit button. Now this submit button will produce a download link. And besides the download link, it will also send you an email on the email address that you've registered with. Now this email will contain a download link. This download link is active only for 24 or 48 hours. So please, once you get the email, immediately download the package. Do not wait too long because once the email is, once it, once the email expires or once the download link expires, you will have to fill this form all over again. Right? So now I've already done this. Go ahead and do this and I'm going to pause the video and come back. So here I am in my downloads folder and I have this file C2000 where 5 setup. It's version 5 and this is the setup file. So this is what you will download or you will get either when you use the download link after submitting the form or when you click on the link from your email. Right? Both of them will give the same thing. So I'm going to double click on this to start the installation. So here it is. It says that it will install version 5.02. Let's click on next. Again, you have to accept the license agreement. And here if you see, it will install it next to our Code Composer Studio installation. So if you recollect, we had installed Code Composer Studio in C drive 
within a folder ti and within that there was another folder which code composer studio create now here it is creating within this folder c2000 inside this ti folder right so now if you have changed your root folder to another place you can make sure you can install it anywhere you want but my advice to you keep these two as close as possible that is keep the code composer studio installation and the c2000 where installation as close as possible if possible under a parent directory called ti right this way it's most convenient that they are both together so i'm going to click on next and this again will install it it's a very long installation so once again i'm going to pause the video and come back when it's done so the installation is finally complete and after that this particular message will come now it's important to understand that c2000 where is not an application it actually installs a bunch of files and it asks you whether you want to open this c2000 where directory of course you can do so and this will only install this open this file now i'm going to end this lecture here because it's already gotten pretty long and we've done two installations in the next lecture i'm going to do a little walk through and describe what all these different files are and what we have managed to install so again if any of this didn't work or you had any other issues please do post in the q&a forum and i'll be happy to help you out otherwise i will see you in the next lecture where i will describe what we have done so far in terms of installation and in terms of the files that we have managed to create on our system thank you so much for listening and goodbye for now